All right, welcome to the Airmere Roundtable. Today is the 11th of uh, April, 2024. Um, we're going to talk about futures prop firms. So I've been playing around with these for probably, oh geez, five months, I guess. Um, I think it was November when I started looking at it. So let's find out uh, more about it. Most of us have been trading options for a long time, but not futures. But uh, buying and selling a future is just like selling, buying or selling a stock or an option. It's pretty simple at a brokerage. Um, futures do have the benefit that are very, very liquid. So, um, you know, there's what, like a million contracts traded on ES typically every day. Uh, before I get into that, the disclosure, Amazon not a broker dealer, investment advisors for educational purposes only. Options, futures, bonds, and currencies of all risks are not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. If you read the whole disclosure, pause the recording, or go to the bottom of any of the Air Mirror web pages. Um, so, futures prop firms this is what we're going to talk about today. And uh, I was using some uh, AI generated images, so it was kind of fun. Um, so, what are they? Why should you trade with them? How, what's it cost? What's your risk? How much can you make? And uh, some details about how they work. So, first, what are they? Um, so they're proprietary trading firms or prop firms. They they give you capital to trade uh, futures contracts. Um, they allow you access uh, significant trading capital without risking your own money. And they provide a way for you to learn how to trade futures, improve your skills to them, and potentially earn a share of the trading profits. Um, there's other benefits too, like the um, they, they do give you access to trading software, like Apex gives you a license for Ninja Trader, and the data. So. Um, if you're new to futures, it's a really easy way to get into it and uh, just play with their money and the SIM accounts for the evaluation. So there's really no risk, just a subscription fee that you pay to uh, to join their evaluation. So why would I want to do that? Well, you have access to a lot of trading capital. So Apex has accounts from 25000 up to 300000 and you can have 20 of them. So that's uh that's a lot of capital to trade. Um, you can earn a high percentage of your profit. So Apex, the first twenty five thousand that you make, you keep all of it, and after that, it's a ninety ten split. So if you take out, uh, say five thousand, then they would keep five hundred. You would get forty five hundred. But that's after you've collected twenty five thousand, and that's per account. So you know you can have twenty accounts. So that's um, twenty times. 25. So what's that? $500,000 you'd be taking out before they get a penny of the profits that you've made. Um, and you gain, gain a lot of experience trading with firm capital and uh, kind of build your confidence because if you can trade the, the firm capitals, they have pretty tight risk parameters. You can also trade your own accounts too, of course. So this gives you a way to kind of build your confidence and get experience with futures without making, um, you know, taking some hits on your own capital. So what does it cost? So the uh, subscription fees at Apex, um, let me just go to their website real quick so we can see all of them. So where's my mouse? There it is. Okay, so if we go to the Apex website, and if you go to um, airmere.com, oops, here, here's it, slash Apex. That'll take you right there. And that's what we're looking at. So they have two different kinds of trade uh, accounts you can get. Uh, Rhythmic's a little cheaper, and um, uh, they have uh, these. So these are the, uh, the the nominal rates, but they're you never pay this. There's always a seventy one percent off deal at Apex, and this month they have a eighty percent off deal. So it just figured twenty percent of this, so about thirty three dollars and forty cents for twenty or for fifty k account, and for a twenty five k it would be twenty nine forty a month. And again, you only have to pay the evaluation fee while you're being evaluated. So you basically pay to play. Um, I like the 50K accounts because there's a little bit more drawdown to play with. Um, you can do 1500 with these. Um, the profit target, uh, the profit goal and the trailing thresholds are the same on the 25K. But then as you go up, the profit goal increases faster than the trailing threshold increases. So at the 50K, it's still pretty close. Um, but you can trade, you know, not double the number of contracts more than that. So um, I, I'd like 50 for me is a nice balance. So you're probably never going to trade the 10 contracts, you know, probably one or two uh, minis or, you know, maybe five, 10, 15 micros, not 100. Uh, but as you can see, as you move up the scale at the 30K, 300K, you have to make 
twenty thousand dollars, but your trailing drawdown is only seventy five hundred. So it's almost not quite three to one. Um, but that's why the uh, the smaller ones they're easier to get funded, and the uh, the drawdown the the trailing threshold drawdowns are, are a lot closer to the profit goals. So that's one thing I like about those. So my sweet spot is a fifty k account. So after you pass it, it turns into a, a performance account. So you got to sign a contract and pay a fee. So you have a, a one-time choice to decide either a lifetime fee of 140 bucks, or I think it's 150 for a trade evade account or 85 a month. And once you make that decision, you can't change it. You're locked into it. So um, I know I've heard people talk about the lifetime curse. So People will pass their valuations, they'll pay for the lifetime fee, and then the next, the, within a month, they blow it up and they have to start over again. Um, there's a guy in uh, in Austin, Matt. He's got a YouTube channel, Trades, Trades by Matt, and um, he just goes for the monthly fee. So he's paying uh, $85 a month on 20 accounts or $1,700 a month, but I think he's pulled in like 80 grand this month. So, you know, $1,700 is a, pretty, it's a drop of the bucket for him. Uh, but he just likes the, uh, he's tried a lifetime fee before and he blew up and uh, he just, he just pays the fee. He's happy with that. Hey, hold um, on for a second. I, why, why would someone, why wouldn't, why are they doing the 85 per month versus the 140 lifetime? I don't know his rationale. I think uh, it's just a psychological thing. Uh, to me, it makes more sense just to do a lifetime fee because then there's no time pressure. And right. then, um, and because now you have a funded account um, and with no time pressure, then you can take your time. So if you rushed into the evaluation and traded large to to get um, to pass the evaluation, well, now once you pass and you have the performance account with no recurring fees, now you can scale back your trading size and build it up a little slower. And that's um, kind of my plan. Tom, yeah. is it is it also because <clears throat> if for some reason, like let's say you hit your threshold, your trailing threshold, and you have to reactivate the account, um, do they charge you the fee again? Is that why maybe they do it that way? Um, no, if you hit your trailing threshold on a PA account, it's blown. So it's done. You can't reset it. The evaluation oh. accounts, you can reset. Oh, I see. Okay. Gotcha. Now, there's the reset fee, I think is it's like 50 or $85, something like that. It's less than $100. Um, but a lot of times the fees that you pay just to sign up for a new account are cheaper than a reset fee. So most of the time, it makes no sense to reset. Just cancel it and just buy a new account. Okay, you and, can't yeah. buy a new account if you blow. I mean, if it if you hit the threshold, if it's a PA account. Right. Yeah, if it's a PA account, you're done. If you've blown it, then right. you gotta you know, go back to go back to start. Go back to go. Do not do not pass go. Oh, so you have <laughs> to go back to the evaluation hours. stage. Right. Okay. I got it. Okay. Exactly. Yep. Um, can you go through? I mean, I know you maybe you're going to, but is there? Um, in through this presentation, can you go through like an example of like stepping through once the once you have a PA account to yeah that's all how in the my threshold slides. works because I was watching something on YouTube and it it wasn't really clear about the threshold. It seemed like it got it shrunk as you made more money. So I just wanted to double check with you since you've been doing no, yeah it. yeah I'm gonna go through all that cool okay right. so again the optional reset fee if you fail the evaluation and again PA accounts cannot be reset. So for the rhythmic accounts, it's eighty dollars and hundred dollars for trade of eight. And just talking about the difference between rhythmic and trade of eight, trade of eight has really nice reporting. Um, Ninja Trader bought trade of eight, I think, or one of them bought the other one. Trade of eight bought Ninja, or Ninja bought trade of eight. They're together. They're one company, but the reports are really good. It loads really fast in Ninja Trader. Um, but if you want to use something else besides Ninja Trader, like Quant Tower or Sierra Chart or you know, some other platform, then you probably want the rhythmic account. Um, the commissions are a little bit, they're like one penny cheaper on the rhythmic. So a micro is 51 cents each each way on the, the rhythmic and 52 cents on trade of eight. I think it's $1.99 on a mini and like $2 on a, a mini with trade of eight. So commissions are just slightly, slightly less on rhythmic. Um, one bad thing with rhythmic is they don't have any data on the weekend. So if you want to do back testing in Ninja Trader, you got to connect to like your TD account or IQ feed or something else to give data into Ninja Trader. But Trade of Eight works uh, all weekend. So um, there's you know, pros and cons for both. Um, I think Rhythmic is more flexible and just slightly cheaper. So um, lately I've been putting Rhythmic accounts on. 
So what's your risk? Um, so you're limited to your subscription fee and any optional reset fees during the evaluation period. Um, there's no risk of losing any of your own money as the firm is paying for the, your evaluation and then they give you money to trade later. Um, potential loss of your paid funded account if your maximum drawdown is breached. And we talked about this a minute ago. So again, there's no resets on those PA accounts. So what can you make? So now this is interesting. And there's the link, by the way, aaronmere.com slash apex. And um, so you can earn significant profits by trading with these guys. And the main benefit I see is that you can have more than one account in Apex. And a lot of these firms, you can have like FlexiTrade. They, they'd let you have 20 accounts. So Apex, again, is one of the highest profit splits. And if you look at their website, if you go, uh, let's go to the top here. Let me just reload it. They have paid out a lot of money. In the last 90 days, they paid out over $58 million. And you can see, uh, if you go down to the bottom, there's a link for payouts. And they update this. And you can see, like, okay, here's this guy in Hungary on the 8th. He, he pulled out 379, that's 7, 8. It's about $1.1 $1 .1 million this guy pulled out on Andras. Uh, but you can see a lot of people are pulling out a lot of money. Um, so it's uh, very, very popular. Um, they've automated everything. And the the payout splits are amazing. I mean, 100% of the first 25K. So, but Apex, you can see their business model. If this guy's pulling out 1.1 million, then Apex made 110,000 on this guy. You know, even though he, he gets to keep a, a million, um, Apex is quite happy with him. So the ability to draw profits regularly. So some places like FlexiTrade, you have uh, uh, one payout per month and uh, Apex does two payouts a month. So so here, here you can, here you go. You have 20 accounts. So levering is, leveraging is amazing. So uh, just think about this. If you have 20 accounts and you do $10 per account net per day with 20 accounts, you're making $200 a day, $1,000 a week. 4,400 a month or 50 grand a year. So if you can have the 20 accounts, get them funded, it'll cost you, let's see, 20, call it about $3,000. You can, uh, and you can just make $10 a day. And it's just like one MES contract, a micro is $5 a point. So say you get three points on an MES contract, you're done for the day. Uh, that, you know, so that, what, what you does do it that, cost to add on these extra accounts per month? I mean, or per account. Oh, you just keep buying all the accounts that you want. So, you so you're buying the accounts. Let's just say you buy 10 accounts. What does that cost you? Uh, well, it'd be uh, 10 times 33.40. So about 340, $330 to, to buy 10 just, accounts. Can you add them on like five at a time or whatever? Um, I think you can only do one at a time. So that's kind of annoying. Um, I'll actually buy one and show you real quick if you want. No, that's uh, okay. I want to know. What, what what this were costing i want to add another one anyway so let me just log in oops i don't want to do that so you can only buy one at a time yeah so here's my thing i'm logged in so say when i get a rhythmic account um i'll just get a i don't want a 25 i want a 50 and then i'll just put i'm not going to put in my thing i'll just say save now that's the apex one if you use mine i get a a little bit of commission so that'd, that'd be a nice thank you but you don't have to and you just got to check all these check boxes and now i got to put in some payment stuff let me do that real quick so you can only add one account at a time uh right so this is going to cost me 33 dollars and 40 cents and you have to go through the evaluation every time you add an account yeah, so I just added another rhythmic account. So $33.40, and that'll show up on my dashboard. That's account number 31. And so I've got an account summary here. It's going to show that new account already. Um, these, uh, This data gets updated at midnight. I'm actually up quite a bit today. Uh, here's my trading today on these accounts. So these are at 51861 right now. And so, yeah, it's like $800 higher. Well, Amy you asked a get... good question. She said she asked, do you have to be reevaluated on every new account? Uh, yeah, they're all treated separately. So each account stands on its own. Huh. 
Um, so anyway, that, so so that's how you buy it. It's pretty simple. But you can um, link them together as far as trading. You said right, like you can put in one. Yeah, exactly. So and then there's something called yeah, there's something called a uh, uh, replicanto at Flowbots, and this is for Ninja Trader. I think it costs for a. Let's see where is it? Uh -huh. Oh, here we go. So I just want like a single machine. I just get a lifetime. You can get like a one year. It's cheaper, but I just do a lifetime. And it's um, 200 bucks for a one lifetime subscription. If you do a one year, it's um, 150. So it costs an extra 50 bucks to make it a lifetime. Um, but then the Replicanto, what that lets you do, I don't even know if I have it loaded here. The, um, connect to a trade of eight account. Uh, let's take a look. And is it connected? Uh, okay, well, it's, um, I've got it on my other computer. I don't know if I can take a screenshot. Yeah, maybe do it this way. I'll just take a screenshot real quick. And then I'll save it on that computer and then I'll be able to share it with you guys. Let's transfer it real quick. All right, this should do. All right, now, this is what Replicanto looks like. So you pick an instrument. This one's Y2, or the M2K, the micro. And then I have a leader account, which is my, my 29 account, my rhythmic. And then the exact quantity, it's going to copy that to the 30 account, also with the advanced trade management. So if I put like you know a buy stop and a, um, a target, a, a limit to take profits, I can do that. I can also click this button and cross it. So then that would trade the RTY, the full contract. So if you had like MNQ, this would trade the NQ if you had that that checked. And I would see if you have like a, a 25K account or a SIM account you're using, um, probably small one, then you also have a big one and you want to size up that bigger one, you can do that here. And you can they have different options here, like uh, um, ratios and I forget what all the options are. And then you can also flatten here and flatten all of them at once. So that's the trade copier for Replicanto. Now, if you do a, a rhythmic account, then um, you can use, again, things like Sierra Charts or Quant Tower, and both of those have trade copying built in. So you don't have to buy anything extra. Um, so, But if you use a trade bait account, that cannot connect to Quant Tower or um, Sierra Chart. So again, it depends on how you want to connect. Ninja Trader is pretty standard. Most people in the business are using this. That Trades by Mac guy uses Sierra Chart, so he has rhythmic accounts. But that's um, that, that's the trade copying part of it. But you basically just have one one uh, chart on your screen, and you trade that chart like it's one account. But the trade copier pushes it to everything else automatically. So it's really simple. And so you go ahead. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. Go ahead. I'll, I'll ask you after you're done. Oh, I was just going to say, so you're trading 20 accounts, but it feels like you're trading one. Yeah, that's, and that's because you're using the replicator. Right. Yeah. Because yeah. it's copying all the trades for you. And um, can you trade for the, through this? Is it just the uh, futures contracts or can you trade options on the futures contracts can you trade other things besides futures? Uh, it's it's only it's only futures and if you go to uh the um the apex site i think they have a list at the bottom of all the contracts that you can trade and here you go so that's what you can trade on rhythmic and ninja trader so equities and these are all futures and, and you have to be flat by the end of the day uh, one nice thing that Apex does is they try and close positions for you if you accidentally have something open. They said, don't count on it because it might not work, but they try to close everything for you if you forgot to do it. So, you know, 
say uh, you had to take your kid to the hospital or something and he had an open trade on, they'll try and close it for you. But generally, it's your responsibility to close everything because the day trader margins um, go up a lot if if you uh, hold it overnight. Um, okay, so... So what happens if someone does hold it overnight? Uh, well, then you blow the account because you, uh, you're not allowed to hold it overnight because the margins go up. Got um, it. So it's, a, it's day trading. So again, it's your responsibility to close it. But Apex is one of the few companies that actually will try and close it for you. And if you log in, there's actually an option on here somewhere to uh, flatten accounts. You just click that and then that'll also push an order into flatten accounts. So if you're like you're at the hospital ER and you go, oh, oh shoot, I had uh, this open position, you can just log in here, go flatten accounts, you're good to go. So Apex has that kind of nice safety feature built in. Um, so here's some details for you. So again, these are evaluation accounts. They're just testing you. Um, so there's two goals uh, for a 50K account, which is the one I, I like to get, a profit target of 3,000, or you have to get the account up to 53,000, and you have to stay above your trailing drawdown. So that starts at uh, 2,500 or 47.5 for a 50K account. So now the trailing drawdown is from the highest value of the account ever, including unrealized profits. So here's an example. So your account's at 51.5, your auto liquidation balance is 2,500 below that or 49,000. So you open a trade, trade gets up to $750 of profit, but it pulls back and you close it with $500 of profit. Well, your maximum account value was $750 above the 51.5. So it got up to 52,250, but you closed it with only a $500 profit. So you, know, you could think, okay, well, my account's now at 52, so I should be at uh, uh, 49.5, but it's actually from that 52.5 peak value of the account. So that's your trailing drawdown now. So now your drawdown, instead of being at 2,500, is at 2,250 because you gave up $250 of unrealized profits. So so now there's your balance of 52 and there's the 2,250 above your liquidation level. And what about just, uh, draws? Does that, how does that take into effect? It just lowers your uh, yeah. basis? Yeah, it'll just... Yeah, it'll just change the uh, the value of your uh, balance. But uh, for a PA account, once you get it up, um, so you have a $2,500 drawdown. So once you get, and it, it's in the, I think it's in my slides, but um, once you get it up to 52.5, then your drawdown hits 50,000 and then they add 100. So it gets to 50,100 and stops. And then you can keep making money, but the drawdown doesn't increase. And, but we'll talk about this when I talk about the PA accounts in a minute. Um, but this, this is the evaluation account. So you don't have to trade every day. Um, you need a minimum of seven traded days to pass the evaluation. That's their standard is seven days, trading days. And there's no time period because you're paying a subscription. So I don't really care how long you take. Um, but a lot of times there's a special with a shorter time to pass. Like right now they've got, it'll say one day to pass. So if you go on their website again, up to the top, I'm scrolling here. Oops, where my mouse go? Uh, all these windows okay here we go so here it says 80 percent off one day to pass that doesn't mean you have to pass it in one day that's the minimum number of days you have to trade to pass the account and you can see this is good through the whole month of april um so that's your minimum number if you do it in one day great you're passed you're off to the pa account uh, if you don't, if you take two days, three days, a week, a month, it doesn't matter. That's just, you, if you want to pass it in one day and be really aggressive, you can. Um, but don't plan on trading your PA account that way. Okay, so, and again, you keep paying the monthly subscription fee until the evaluation is passed. And you have unlimited resets, but like I said, it's normally cheaper, especially if they have like 80% off. You know, if the reset's like 50 bucks or 80 bucks, and you can get a new account for 33, you know, why would you do a reset? So just look at the cost to get a new one versus the reset before you hit the reset. All right, so let's talk about the PA accounts now. So there's two payout periods per month, um, from the 1st to the 5th and from the 15th to the 20th. That's when you have to request a payout. Um, you have to have 10 separate trading days before requesting a payout. And some people will play a game like they'll, they'll 
they'll have a, a couple of good trading days, you know, maybe three or four good days. And then they, they'd say, well, I don't need to trade anymore. So they'll just open and close a position like a, a one lot micro uh, every day to get the 10 trading days. Um, there's no minimum profit per day or anything. You just have to open and close a trade every day or, or for 10 trading days before requesting a payout. And if you go, um, say you missed the first payout period in the month, you've only had like five trading days. Um, it's just uh, that many trading days um, from your last payout request. So it could take you a week or two or three. It doesn't really matter, but you have to have 10 trading days before you request a payout. Um, and the PA accounts have to stay above their minimum. So a 50K account, there's at 50,100 after you reach a balance of 52,600. So once you hit that, now your drawdown is not going to increase at all. It's kind of fixed at that point. Um, but then the minimum withdrawal is 500. So if you add 500 to this, really, then the minimum would be, uh, well, actually, yeah, you could you could request a, a payout of 500 here because then you'd have 52,100. So you still have $2,000 before you hit your, your minimum. Um, and then the first three months, there's a um, maximum withdrawal limit. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry, Tom. I just had a quick, I just wanted on the past point that you just made. So the trailing stop information that I was um, heard about before and then what you were saying just applies to the evaluation account, not to the PA account is what you're saying. Um, no, the evaluation account is trails all the time until you pass the evaluation. The PA account trails until you hit that 50,100 and then it's fixed. It doesn't increase after that. Right. Okay. So, so that's what I was wondering is because it, it sounded like you know, if I bring my account up, let's say I brought the account up to, if it's an evaluation account and I brought it up to 55,000, let's say, or something like that, then that trailing, what was it? 2,500 or whatever? Well, you would never do that because once you hit 53,000, you stop trading and then convert it to a PA account. Right. But if once it's in a PA situation, you don't have that constant trailing stop like that. It's just, you don't want to lower it below 50,000. Right. One, yeah. Once you get it up past that 52,600, then it never increases. So that's why you want to get it up to like 55, 57, 59, you know, something like that and give yourself a really huge buffer. And Got then it. the odds of blowing the account are almost zero. God, okay. That makes more sense. Cause I was thinking like that trailing stuff. I'm like, okay, that doesn't make sense. I wouldn't want to do this in a regular account, but it makes sense now what you're saying. It's just the evaluation. Yeah. Perfect. It's just Thank the evaluation. And then, well, I mean, there is that, that minimum you have to maintain, but as long as you can just build up a nice buffer, then it's really nothing you have to worry about after time. Um, oh. And then as far as the withdrawal goes, the, the first three months, they have a limit. And it's, again, it's per account. So a 50K account, you can withdraw $2,000 per withdrawal period, but there's two withdrawal periods a month. So you can take out four grand a month per account. So if you have 20 accounts, that's be $80,000 you could take out in a month. Um, starting in the fourth month, there's no maximum. So... If you're making, say you have uh, um, 20 accounts and you're averaging $300 a day, well, that would be uh, 20, that'd be 60, $60,000. And um, let's see, sorry. Yeah, in 10 days, it'd be $60,000. And the first three months, you could only take out 40. But after that, you can take out the whole thing. So again, there's no maximum after that that three month uh, withdrawals, and they said that like the withdrawal period a month. If you only do one withdrawal in a month, that counts as one of the three uh, one of the three months. You don't have to do two withdrawals per month as long as you take any withdrawal in a month. That counts as one of the three months. But you have to take five hundred dollars per withdrawal period as a minimum. That's a minimum, right? Every every yeah, every month. To, yeah, they don't yeah, want to deal with like a thousand dollars basically. Yeah, there you have to it's a minimum withdrawal for any withdrawal is five hundred dollars. They don't want to deal with like oh, hey, give sorry. me 20 I bucks, you know. Okay, yeah. got it, got it. I, I I misunderstood that that part. Never mind. Okay. Now Tom, do I so, understand properly? Once you pass the trial, then mm -hmm. the PA account resets to five fifty thousand, correct? Right. Then they give you real money to trade, they'll put fifty thousand in as they go for it. You know, you've okay. proven to us that you can manage the risk. Now, here's your $50,000. Go have fun. All right. Thanks. And then you have, again, the same uh, risk parameters and part target, not really profit target because you're going to be withdrawing money at some point, but you still have the same risk until it gets to 50100 
and then it doesn't change after that. Okay, so again, you have to have a 52.6 to request a payout. Um, there's, there's no safety net required, but it's highly, highly, highly advisable. Um, each account is a separate account. It's a standalone concept. So if you have 20 accounts, you can make 20 withdrawals from each account. And that's like that trades by Matt guy. He, uh, he does videos like payout videos and uh, he'll do like the first one. Then he just like fast forwards really fast on the video because he has to do the same process 20 times. There's no easy way at Apex to say, oh, just give me this much from each one of the accounts. You have to do it one at a time. Um, so again, <clears throat> sorry, 20, 50K accounts, averaging $200 a day. That's 4,000 bucks a day or 40 grand a pay period or 80,000 a month. And that's um, that's if you can get $200 a day average, which that um, Trade by Matt does and other people obviously are doing it per too. Per each account, you mean? Per account, right. So, yeah. and then you have the 20 accounts. So that that's where the the the, <clears throat> the multiplying effect of those 20 accounts really pays off. Instead of making $200 a day in your one trading account, you're, you're making 20 times that. And again, there's the link for Apex. Um, and I think that's it for those, for those slides. Um, and we did go through the, uh, like if I'm, this is what it's like when you're logged in, you can set your payout method. Um, Account summary is like all the the charts and stuff. Again, this updates at the end of the day. So this is actually where my accounts are at right now. So I have to get these up to 53,000. So I'm only like, you know, $1,200 away. And then I'll have two funded accounts. And then I just added the, uh, that, that one while we were talking. So I got three accounts there. now. Um, they do have a lot of good FAQs here. So um, if you want to go look at them, it's, um, you know, they have all these pretty thorough knowledge base. Um, they do have like a 30% a consistency rule. Let me just look for that. Uh, it's, oh, here it is, consistency rules. So basically what they don't want is they want somebody with consistent profits. They don't want like somebody's making like, you know, $20, $20, $1,000, $20, $20. Um, cause you're obviously taking some kind of risk and they want something slow and steady. So if 30% of the profit of your payout has come from more than 30% has come from one trading day, they won't pay you. You know, they, they have to, in fact, they they might even ask you what's, what's your trading plan? How did you apply your trading plan before and after this one day? Um, how, what happened on that one day with the, uh, the big profit you know, how'd that happen? So they, they want to find out what's going on. So that's what that 30% rule is. And they talk about it here. Yeah. So the balance in the account cannot consist more than 30% of the profit balance having from a single trading day. And they have videos talking about it. Um, they don't like you trading during news. Um, so there, you can... Uh, yeah, so they don't want you to use any fully automated things where you can just sit and walk away trading continuously 24 hours a day. They want you to actually trade. So um, I've got some algos that are helping me, but I'm not uh, I'm not fully automating them. What about, what did you say about the news? <clears throat> uh, they don't like uh, trading news events like FOMC announcements, stuff like that. So they strictly prohibit news trading in any way, shape or form. Now it's interesting because for the evaluation accounts, they don't care. Um, you can trade whatever you want, however you want. As long as you get it up to the profit target without busting the account, they're fine with that. But once you do the PA account, they send you a contract you have to sign, um, and then you have to pay them um, the fee, either lifetime or su subscribe, and then they'll set it up. But they, they're they looking for um, slow, consistent traders. They don't want, uh, you know, one-time, one one-shot wonders here. But what what it, um what do they consider like a news event? Do they consider like CPIs coming out, so you can't trade after hours? They only let you trade like during regular hours, or what do you? I don't know what you mean by that. Um, no, I think the news trading they're talking about is like a, a CPI report's coming out, and you go, I think it's going down. I'm going to go short the NQ and uh, before the report, you know, stuff like that. I, I think after um, the news is out, then you know probably, but you know, writing the initial news burst and entering a trade right before or after the news in order to ride a potential wave. They don't want you to do that I, for I the see. PA accounts. 
that makes sense. Okay. No, but they have all the rules here and the, the help's really good. So, um, can I ask one any... other quick question or a quick question? I don't know. Like, yeah, sure. Uh, let's say any one of us wanted to sign up for one of these things today. What are all of the different tools and different fees that you have in a, like, that you had, you know, buying from different accounts? Like there's an Apex thing, a trade of eight or a rhythmic thing. There's a, the, you know, you have some kind of, um, you know, what other accounts and things you have to set up? And what other fees are associated with those? Okay. So if you signed up today and you create an account, you got a rhythmic account, they're going to give you your rhythmic login. It, it takes, uh, sometimes it's really fast, like 20 minutes. Sometimes it takes a couple hours, depends on how busy their servers are. Um, but then you'll have this rhythmic account and then you'll go through um, the Ninja Trader 8 setup. So you go through and just follow all these instructions. Um, but they give you a license for Ninja Trader. And so you got to download Ninja Trader, install it, and all that stuff. But that's all part of it. So it's all built in. There's no extra cost for that. If you want to do the trade copying, that's where you'd have to get something like Replicanto. Um, I think Apex Investing is also owned by Daryl Martin. It's kind of an uh, education branch of Apex. And they have a trade copier, but it's just a white label of Replicanto. So I just go to the source and just get it from those guys. And that um, replica, far, replica, or forgot what it was Replicanto. Called. Yeah. Replicanto. That only works if you use the rhythmic with the. Um... No, no, that's uh, it. Only works on Ninja Trader, Ninja but Trader. any account that you're connected to, it can work with. So if okay. you have a live Trade Evade account and a live Interactive Brokers account, and a, an account with uh, an Apex, an account with somebody else, oh, that's you can. Cool. You can you can copy trade all of those, and that's good for like the stuff that I do with the um, uh, the options trading in the SPX. I could use that for that as well. Uh, I don't know. I think it's it's more for uh, futures, but okay. um, I've never tried to do it with uh, anything other than a futures contract. Okay. So I would say it's just for futures, just to be safe. Uh, but you um, just need the apex. They give you automatically. The ninja they give trade. you data, a trading platform, um, and if you have multiple accounts and want to do the trade copying, then you have to get Replicanto or something like that. There's other places that have trade copiers too, but this is the one most people use. And it's been around a long time. Yeah, and that's basically it's, like if I set up a rhythmic with the Ninja Trader, or if I set up a um, trade of uh, eight. Trade of eight with do they use? Does that Ninja Trader as well? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then it's the same thing. Got it. So what's the what's the pros and cons that you say between those two besides the small slight cost? Uh well, rhythmic is uh more universal. So rhythmic will work with things like Sierra Charts or Quant Tower or other places. Um trade of eight's not as universal. So like uh like if you have Sierra Chart, it cannot connect to trade of eight. So it depends on what platform. If you already have a trading platform like uh, Quant Tower or Sierra Chart, then you probably want to go with rhythmic. If uh uh, Trade of Eight's got again really nice reports, and um, the, again it has data on the weekends versus Rhythmic doesn't. Um, so, but you could also you could also connect to your TD account and get data that way too. Okay, but basically, um, Sierra Char and you would use Sierra Charts and the Quant Tower. Did you say Quant Tower? That's the one that Flexi Trade uses. It's it's similar to uh, to Sierra Chart. I guess it's a a compiled program. It's a Windows program that runs on your desktop. Okay, so um, it's the actual platform that you're trading through is either right, the it's a trading Power platform or the Sierra charts. What do you use Ninja Trader for though? Just data? Uh no, you trade through Ninja Trader. So that's also um, okay. yeah, let me just get a screenshot up here on my other computer. So you wouldn't you. so the reason why you're using Sierra charts over Ninja Trader is just because it's an easier tool to use or uh, well, I was having some problems with Ninja Trader trying to run a bunch of algos and other stuff. It was kind of mm -hmm. slowing down a lot. I see. Um, <laughs> and I think uh, from what I've heard that the uh, um, Sierra chart is probably the most robust, uh, stable platform for trading. Mm -hmm. um, but it's it, it looks like Option View is kind of <laughs> old style, if you will. But I mean, it works. So okay. I know uh, Leslie Leslie uses it. Let's see, let me get this URL. Just was wondering, it just seemed like there were so many tools. It's like, well, what do you really need? <laughs> yeah, so, okay, let me paste this in here and then you can see. 
So this is my uh, one chart on NinjaTrader. So I've got, this is an add-in I bought, but the uh, the straight, uh, uh, this one from, uh, and this icon is like a chart trader. This also lets you trade kind of similar to this. You can, like this one I bought, you can go click by click and just put your mouse where you want it and it'll do either a limit order or a stop. Uh, same thing with the click, you can do OCOs, but you can do all the stuff with the standard off the shelf Ninja Trader. Um, and then once you get filled in a position, it'll show you what your current fill is, your current P&L, and then any um, limit orders to take profits or stop orders um, that you have. And you can you know, click and drag them around. So it's pretty easy to work with. Um, but Ninja Trader is a whole trading platform. And there's tons and tons and tons of people that have uh, plugins for Ninja Trader. It's been around for years. I bought a license to it back in like 2007 and it's just incredible all the different stuff that's out there for ninja trader okay i mean i've heard of it you know but since i don't normally do that type of trading i've, I've never really used it but um, i've certainly heard of it a lot yeah and they also have some uh ninja trader help too somewhere <clears throat> let's see if i can figure out where that is so if you were to put on a trade that you wanted to go through all 20 of your accounts you would actually open up um what would you do actually i'm not gonna say oh, okay well you'd set up your replicanto and ninja trader or um like quant tower has a trade copier so see your chart you set it up and you say okay i've got a, a leader account see here it is i've got a leader account and that's the one i'm going to have on my chart and then any trade i put on with this symbol and that account copy it to these other accounts so if you've got you know 19 other accounts you just turn them on click 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 and if you want to copy the advanced trade management, like, you know, here's my trailing stop or whatever you got set up, you just make sure that's clicked as well. And then you're set. And then when, uh, when anytime you go back to this one and that's the same account, if I if I go buy the market, boom, that gets filled. And then the replicant will say, oh, he just bought one here. I'm going to buy one here too. And the other 19 accounts, if you've got them. Okay. And um it's, it's really, really simple. You just basically have one chart, you're trading one position, and it's copying everything behind the scenes for you. So it's super simple to do. And um, so basically the way it is, is it, depending on what you want to use, you would just say, okay, I'm going to use, um, I'm going to open up Ninja Chart and I'm going to use that with the Replicanto app. Mm -hmm. Or you open up Sierra Charts and you use their replicator instead. Right. Yep. Or you open up Quant Tower and you use their replicator. Use their trade copier. Right. Okay. So you just you just have three different choices of how you're going to trade depending on whatever each one gives you as far as bells and whistles. Yeah. Are. The only Ninja Trader is the only one that doesn't have trade copying built in, and they might do that at the in the future, but they probably don't need to because everybody's using Replicanto already. So I see. there's okay. no real need. Interesting. Um, so that's basically it. Um, any other questions? Oh, and, um, okay. Yay. Um, when you use the replicator, does mm -hmm. that all give the same fills? You get the exact uh, same. Normally, normally it's you, you, usually it's pretty close, if not exact. Sometimes it's it's better or worse, but most of the time it's it's really close. Especially if you're doing a a, a limit order. Um, a lot of times I'll just do like uh, buy the bid or sell the ask. Um, and then usually it'll get filled at that price. Um, okay. But Thanks. Yeah. It's, but if the price, I know I have seen it where say you put an order in to buy the bid, this one gets filled and the market goes poof and then pops right back. Then, uh, maybe one of your accounts or two or, or half of them will get filled at a better price. Cause by the time this sent the order in, the market had moved down and it's still below what you wanted to pay for it. So it's like, Oh, that's a better price. I'm going to get that. So once in a while, it will be better. Most of the time, it's identical. Okay. Especially Thank if the market's not like going crazy. Thanks, Tom. Um, yeah, Bill, I still have FlexiTrade. Um, yeah, just go to airmere.com slash Apex. That's, um, let's see, I'll put it in here again. There we go. And that'll... Uh, you know, I'll get a little fee, but if uh, enough people sign up, then um, I can actually get a custom code like Aramir, but I can't do that yet. So it's like on YouTube, you have to have certain, 
so many people signed up for your channel, like a hundred before they'll give you a custom channel name. And then that's, it's always going to be the best price. So if you go there, they've got this 80% deal right now. And then, um, again, it's, it's pretty simple. Um, I, again, I like the 50 K accounts, but you can d definitely start with a, um, 25 K account and it's a nice, easy way to kind of, um, kind of start trading futures, like dipping your toe in the water without actually risking much. You know, it's like 30 bucks a month, $33. And uh, you are actually less than it for a 25k, but then you're you're getting the data, the platform, and you know you can start trading and get experience. And what was the other one that you were going to show um, besides Apex? Oh, well, there's another one, Flexi Trade. Um, I have some accounts with them, but uh, they were having a 90% off sale, but I don't see it now. So it's I think it's a little too expensive right now. It's a one-time payment, so. Um, Oh, that's uh oh, that's one account. So if I do like ten accounts, they want fifteen hundred bucks. So I'm not gonna pay that. When I can go to Apex and get ten fifty k accounts for uh three hundred and thirty dollars, I'm not gonna pay fifteen hundred to these guys. Right. Okay. So, for for now, Flexi is very similar. Uh, the drawdowns and targets are identical to. Uh, in fact, I had some slides. I let me just unhide those. I can go through it real quick if you want. Okay, unhide the slide and go back here. Okay, so Apex Trader versus uh, Flexi Trade. So the 50K accounts, um, Flexi, that's actually wrong. It's six and 60, not 10 and 100. The drawdowns and everything are the same. It was 1490, now it's 149. So that's changed. That's why I didn't put the slide up because they changed it today. Um, Apex has two payout periods per month. Flexi only has one. They give you a Ninja Trader license. They give you a Quant Tower, and then you can choose which type of account. Here, it's only Rhythmic. And let's see. So as far as the PA accounts, um, again, there's two payout periods per month with Apex and one with Flexi. The trailing drawdown stops at fifty thousand one hundred. There, it stops at fifty. So that concept is the same. They both have five hundred dollar minimum. And then the Apex, has, again, is $2,000 maximum for the first three months per period. So for a 50K account, that's $4,000 a month, and the Flexi is $1,500 a month. Um, it's not really wasted, though, because after three months, then if you made more, say you made like $3,000 a month, um, then you're going to be building up a nice buffer in the PA account. So it's um, it's a little bit different. They're a lot newer, too. So. Uh, Apex has been around a long time. Flexi is one of the new kids on the block, so they don't really have a big track record yet. And their website's not quite as built out as nicely as um, Apex. Um, you know, their FAQs and stuff aren't quite as thorough. I had to ask them a lot of questions, um, but they're very similar. So um, if they go back to a 90% off, then it probably makes sense. But um, I wouldn't do it if you have to pay the full fee. You know, like Apex, they always have a 71% off. Um, the most you're going to pay is 30% of whatever you see on the Apex site. Um, so that's kind of the difference between the two. And again, with the with no discounts on Luxie Trade, it's just way too expensive compared to Apex, so I wouldn't do it. So that's kind of uh, the rundown for you guys. Um, any more questions? Yeah, Tom. Is there a uh, is there a time frame that you need to uh, meet that uh, that uh, target? Nope, nope. You know, again, you're paying a subscription fee, so you're paying essentially for the data and the Ninja Trader license and uh, the SIM account. So they don't really care how long you take. So you know, it takes a month or two, whatever. That they're they're fine with that. You know, if you want to trade like one week and then take a week off, it's okay. You know, you don't have to. There's no minimum number of days per week you have to trade or anything. Then what about that? Uh, the trading plan? Do they request a trading plan? Nope, they don't. No, I did well, add I thought, something on on air yeah, mirror. I, I need to show that real quick. I thought you had to do something, or I guess if someone doesn't is trades a little erratic, they're going to require that. Yeah, so if you have, uh, oops, that's the wrong one. Uh, hey, here we go. 
So you can have as many trading plans as you want and you can actually share them. It's just, it's just a, what you see is what you get editor and you can just come in here and trade, uh, you know, whatever you know, my plan is to follow Amy CIC 22. That's my trading plan. Now I can share that, like say, and that the re that's the reason I, I made this is uh, if, if you ever got into a situation with a PA account that they wanted to see your your trading plan, you can just click this share button and then just give them this link and then they can see, okay, this is what my trading plan is. So exactly. that's why I built it. No, I mean, they're going to want to see if they do want it, they want to see a, a legit plan though, right? Yeah. But that's only if, uh, if you're kind of trading dodgy, you know, if you have like these, uh, some days with some massive spikes in your P and L I'd imagine it's probably a majority of the people you, you out like, there. You make like 500, 600,000, then 22,000, and then a 500, and then they're going to go, oh, what happened here? You know, you got to tell me what's going on. So okay. that's the only time they're going to ask you for a trading plan. But it's pretty interesting. I mean, the main thing that makes this really interesting is that you can have 20 accounts and trade copy it. That just... Uh, it's just amazing. In fact, um, if I go to that Trades by Matt, see YouTube, Trades by Matt. Here's his YouTube channel, but he's got these payout videos. Um, yeah, here he goes. He made 120000 in 30 days. So here he's talking about it. Um, let's see. Uh, there's his eighty thousand dollar, forty thousand dollar. So when he goes through this, he um, this is where he's going through each account. So he's taking out two grand, and then that's a request, and then he's got to do this thing for twenty different times. That would be one time where being something being tedious isn't really all that big of a deal. <laughs> yeah, or not. He's not too upset with I that. He's so. upset about that. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I'm just going to take out $40,000 and it'll take me five minutes to do it. Is that a, is that a problem? No. Yeah. Is that trade by Matt? Does he have a Discord channel and all that? Uh, he does. Yeah, I, I'm, I actually um, joined his, his uh, YouTube so I can get access to his live trades. Um, I mean, the um, let's see, where is it? Trades by Matt. Here it is. So on the membership, he's got like all the... Uh, the recordings let's see where is it oh yeah so here is his future it was yesterday he lost seven thousand then that but the day before he made six thousand three you no know, live trades seven thousand then but i mean he's he's trading a lot he does have a discord channel too but if you go to his live thing i think he starts about uh 20 minutes before the cash market opens but he won't take any trades until 15 minutes after the open but he'll have a thousand, fifteen hundred people watching him live. So it's pretty cool. And so what some of these people are go ahead, what were you gonna say? Oh, the people were asking him today what he's gonna do with his money that he's taken out. He's gonna buy a Ferrari. So he wants to buy a cool car. Of course he's he gotta pay tax on it too. So <laughs> <laughs> he's young. I think he's twenty nine or thirty. So I'm getting ready to buy a new car too, but it's not gonna be a Ferrari. No, all right. <laughs> I, have to, I have to trade in my minivan, so I don't think we're, we're in the same. <laughs> yeah, different. I yeah. The same things. No, I, I think I'm going to get a, an SUV, but uh, but definitely not a Ferrari. Oh, and Tony asked, are the trade transactions by Matt legit? Um, I think so. I mean, I've, I've watched them for a couple of weeks. And uh, I mean, there's a little bit of a lag with the YouTube streaming, so... You definitely don't want to take his trades live unless you also agree with his, his thought process because you may or may not get in the same prices that he has. Um, but again, there is a lag with YouTube streaming. So just be careful of trying to follow him that way. And then he'll uh, he'll put a trade on to make a win or a loss and then say, okay, I'm done streaming. I'll see you on Discord. And he hangs out on Discord. I, I don't spend a lot of time on Discord, so I haven't really seen him, what he's posting there, but... He does have a Discord channel. Let me see if I can find it. Let's see, trades on me. I think it's this one. Yeah, that's it. So there's probably an invite if you guys want it. 
Let's copy that. There's his Discord channel. He's pretty funny. He goes through a dad joke every day. So and he had one the other day I liked. It was uh I was gonna tell you a time travel joke, but you didn't like it. So anyway. <laughs> so any other questions? I think I've kind of covered it of how it works. Um again, the le the leveraging that you can trade 20 accounts is really what makes this a an amazing opportunity. So Plus, you can get good at futures trading without risking any of your own money. Just, you know, a couple dollars on a subscription fee. And so, Tom, for you, you've got 20 of these accounts. So your goal would be 20 accounts at maybe Flexi Trade and 20 accounts at Apex. Is that a thought? Yeah, you could definitely do that. They need to have 40 accounts. So then every $10 that you could average net on each of those accounts would be 100000 a year. <laughs> There's nothing... illegal about trading for two different companies at the same time. But again, with the flexi trade, I would wait until those guys have a sale because you know, I'm going to pay 1500 bucks when you can get the same thing at apex for 330. Unless you've already got, uh, um, apex maxed out and you're, you're looking to add to it, then it's probably okay. Cause at that point you're probably making, you know, enough money to pay for the flexi accounts. All right. Well, I think uh, that's it. So uh, Thanks, thanks Tom. for coming. I'm glad you guys are had lots of questions. So I've been looking at this stuff for a number of months now, and I think it's uh, it's a pretty good opportunity to uh, to try futures out. So um, again, if you want to try it, uh, try and use my uh, my link there. That'll it'll help me and won't cost you anything extra. So you'll always get the best deal with that. So. Um, thanks again, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you, Tom. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, everyone.